Hey guys, what is happening? Niat here with Film Comics Explained. Today, we're going to be looking at the Metaba virus, as featured in the 1995 medical disaster film Outbreak, starring Dustin Hoffman, Morgan Freeman, and Kevin Spacey, among others. Directed by Wolfgang Peterson and written by both Lawrence Dwarette and Robert Roy Poole, the story shows the spread of the fictitious Metaba virus from Africa to America and its subsequent devastation of a small American town. Screenwriter Dwarette used his previous experience as a medical student to help conceptualize the virus and its effects. In the film, the Metaba virus is a deadly disease with a terrifying 100% mortality rate, which essentially means that anyone who comes in contact with it will die. Like many films in this genre, the virus was based on the real-life Ebola virus. Ebola, which has a mortality rate ranging between 25 to 90%, causes hemorrhagic fever, followed by death. It first appeared in the mid-70s in Nizara, South Sudan, and Yombuku within the Democratic Republic of Congo. The Yombuku outbreak in particular occurred near the Ebola River, from which the disease gets its name. Similar to the Ebola virus, Mutaba was discovered in the Congo. In the film, two military officers who witnessed the decimation of a mercenary encampment caused by the Mutaba virus decide to firebomb the whole area to destroy it. The virus then resurfaces three decades later, where military virologist Sam Daniels and his team are sent to investigate. Although Daniels is concerned about its lethality and the associated risks of its spreading, the issue is downplayed by his superiors, who have a hidden agenda. Mutaba spreads to the United States through a white-headed capuchin monkey. The host species for the virus causes a chain reaction, which inevitably results in the entire town of Cedar Creek becoming infected. What's terrifying is that the already deadly Mutaba virus then mutates into a strain that is capable of spreading like influenza, which increases the rate of infection. Once infected, a patient begins to experience hemorrhagic fever. Have you ever seen the effects of hemorrhagic fever? Allow me, sir. Major? Yes, Major. When the patient first gets the virus, he complains of flu-like symptoms, and in two or three days, pink lesions begin to appear all over his body, along with small pustules that soon erupt with the blood and pus. They feel like mush to the touch. There's vomiting, diarrhea, bleeding in the nose, ears, gums, the eyes hemorrhage, the internal organs shut down. They liquefy. That's very good, Major. Uh, we've read that in the book, too, but in about 16 hours, you are about to see it. In the flesh, so to speak. Death will occur between one to two days after symptoms begin to show. Mutaba, much like Ebola and the Hantavirus, was initially transmissible through animal to human and human to human contact with blood and bodily fluids, but it soon mutates into an airborne strain. It's not until later that we discover why the military were not being very helpful and were so determined to bury the Mutaba virus whenever it popped up. They had essentially engineered the virus to serve as a bioweapon. What's worse is that they had intentionally infected the local population of monkeys in 1967 as a test run to see its potential, which led to the first outbreak. Daniels and his team scrambled to find the origin of the virus and the host animal that was responsible for its spread in the hopes of creating a vaccine. The film soon develops into an edge of his seat thriller, as not only is Daniels team searching for a needle in a haystack, but they must also contend with a malevolent general who has ordered his men to shoot them down. The disease is relentless and indiscriminate, as we see it take the lives of hundreds of innocent people before a vaccine is inevitably created. This film is a lot of things, a medical disaster at its core, but it's also a scathing critique of the development and use of biological weapons by governments. 20 years after the film's release, the inspiration for the Metaba virus, the Ebola virus disease, saw its resurgence in West Africa. With over 28,637 reported cases of infection, and 11,315 confirmed deaths across six countries. This was its most deadliest run of outbreaks in history. The World Health Organization, along with the heroic health workers around the world who took it upon themselves to head to West Africa in 2014 and tackle the virus head on, must be thanked. If it weren't for their combined efforts, we would have been dealing with a global pandemic. Well, that's all that we have time for. I hope you've enjoyed this video on the Metaba virus. As always, it's been a pleasure. Niat here with Film Comics Explained. Thanks for stopping by. Sirs, Mr. Motaba, up close and personal. I hate this bug. Come on, Casey. You have to love its simplicity. It's one billionth our size and it's beating us.